Hey guys, it is that time of day. It is time to get fit. It is time to have lots of fun. I'm Missy Kane. So glad you're tuning in. And we're going to work on some strength. But I always like to move a little bit when we're doing our weights. I like to call them active weights, where we're burning some calories, but getting some muscle tone. And we're going to talk about overall health, too. I have a nurse in the house, so we if we had a hotline, they could call in. <laughs> Danelle, tell everybody who you are, what you do, and all that good stuff. I'm Danelle Grieve. I'm a nurse case manager with Humana, so I uh, follow up on member needs. Right, and so you have an um, office in West Knoxville. That's correct. It's a pretty office in there, and um, it's got a lot of pond there, and y'all yep. can walk around it some and all that. Yes. And yes, I know you are a big runner. We've got some pictures I think Danelle brought in, because um, you've done some 5Ks and half, half marathons. marathons. Yeah. Okay, there's one right there. Yes. At a beach. That looks fun. <laughs> nice and hot. New Hampshire. It was cool, actually. That should work. Yes. And you work with Denny Blaylock. Yes. My, fun, my friend Denny. She's a she's a great gal. And my daughter Kelsey works there. We were talking before. And she really is so excited about going out in the community and getting people fired up to use Fitbits, to eat healthy, and all yeah. that. All that. So. Oh, what, now where's that? Uh, Stone Mountain. Okay, down in Georgia. I have not been there since 96, but it's a big park, isn't it? Yes. Lots Hiking. to do. Mm -hmm. okay. Biking, too, maybe? I don't know if they have bike I trails or not. I'm not sure of that. And there's you running. Yes. Is that in town? That's in Massachusetts, um, half marathon. Wow. Okay, so it's a little chillier there. Yeah. So you train. Besides yes. working all the time, you do some training. So yes. we both said that we're both, I'm a former runner. Um, and I know I need to do weights, but sometimes I just have to remind myself, all right, Missy, yeah. take the day, less running, and a little bit more with weights. Yeah. You know, it's important. All right, I'm also really tight in my quads, so I'm going to have Danielle and you guys join in where I'm just going to, like, kick those heels back and forth. Whatever you want to do with your hands is fine. It's not quite Zumba. You say you do a little Zumba, too, sometimes. Yeah. I like Zumba, but I can't do some of their hot twist. Some of those are tough. And there's always a modification, so. And I and I need to do those often. A few more of these. Looking good out there. March it out. Okay, if you have a step, we're really not doing step aerobics today. But if you have a step, we may use it to do some lunges on. Um, right now, I was going to just come closer to my step. And just do back and forth heel taps where you're kind of stretching out your heel down, toe up, back and forth. How long have you been running? About seven years. Okay. No injuries to speak of yet? Yeah. Good. Okay. And we'll march it out here. And let me, I'm going to help you with your headset, okay? Yeah, it feels like it's falling. All right. See, I have, Missy has a really big head. I have a really big head. And you have a nice, pretty um, head that's not so. Okay. I think that's good. Okay. Let's get a water break, and then we're going to grab some weights and go okay. into our kind of active, easy weights first. All right. I'm going to get light weights like this on this um, and all we're going to do at first is we're going to march it out and I'm going to have my elbows tight to my side like I'm gripping something underneath those elbows up and down a very small movement good job and you know as runners it's good to have upper body tone yes especially with my track girls when I used to coach track I said you need those elbows girls to get around people you know <laughs> But if you don't have good muscle tone, sometimes your form really deteriorates. Mm -hmm. We're gonna do about 15 in a set. Good job. Four more. Three, two, one. Good job. Now, I'm gonna use my step, and I'll show Nell and you guys what I mean. I'm gonna just keep my, my weights here. I'm gonna take a step and just do a little bit of a lunge and back. Sometimes our, um, I'll warn you, our steps sometimes move. We'll just fix them back. I don't go down real deep, Danielle, because okay. of my knee. I just okay. do it. Good. Now, to add a little bit more umph, we're going to do hammer curls at the same time. Kind of like our palms are facing each other. Where did you um, go to school? In Chattanooga. Okay. I love Chattanooga. Chenning is a happening place. You know, a lot of <laughs> bike trails, a lot of um, races going on down there. The waterfront is beautiful. Yeah. About five more of these. Good job. 
four. Three, good balance work. I can tell I'm really working my balance. Two more. And last one. Okay, I'm gonna set these down. I can just set them on the this. And a little drink of water. Water is so important, right? Yes. People are trying to lose just for good overall health. Mm -hmm. I try to keep it at my desk. How much do we need a day? A good eight glasses. Mm -hmm. yeah. So do you keep like a water bottle at your desk? Yes, I try to finish a quart before lunch and a quart after. Mm -hmm. That's really good because I yeah. mean I think it helps with your. Um, one at Dr. Naylor, one of my doctors said it would help me with my knees with arthritis. Mm -hmm. Even that, so I think yeah. it's very important. We're going to do another set, so we're going to grab the same weights and march it out. And remember that first thing we did is bicep curls. So our elbows were cutting tight and a small movement back and forth. Look like you're holding like a paper underneath your elbows. So what are your sights on this year? Any big races coming up? Um, getting ready to do Louisiana, which is the first uh, weekend in February. Okay. So coming up and then the Covenant half. Right. A nice hilly one, but it's pretty. It is pretty. It is pretty. Yeah, I've done the relay. Oh, that's fun. Several years, mm -hmm. so we do the half this Three year. Three more of these. Two more. And last one. Okay, before we do the um, curls I was doing, you can do a few lunges just to get your bearings back and forth. Like that. And then at the same time, do those hammer curls. Good job. Well, my new university team that's training, they're really trying to work on, it sounds simple, but they're really trying to eat a little bit more protein, car mm -hmm. good carbs and some protein, not all carbs, and then trying to just cut back some of their portion sizes. Don't you think that's a lot of the American uh, yes. problems? Yes. Three more. Two more. Last one. Okay, set those down. A little sip of water. We're going to mix it up back and forth with weight, but also we can do some core. So we can leave our weights here. We can kind of move them where we can put them, our hands. And we're going to do two, two sets of these. And we're just going to hold this for about 20 seconds. You can have a little bit of bend in your elbow. And if it's too hard for you, you can go down to your knees. But if you can hold this, we've got a, about 12 more seconds. Good job. Keep breathing. 10. You can do it. And this is really good for a tummy. Five seconds more. Four. Three, two, one. Okay, now get up on what you pick up one weight. In between, I like to do something like kettlebell, but you don't have to have a kettlebell to do this. And this is good for the, the quads. And I'm gonna show Danelle and you guys what I mean. We're gonna take that weight and basically just in between the legs and come up to about chin height. Do about 15 of them. Because it kind of keeps that heart rate going. Mm -hmm. Chest up chin up good job about five more three two one looks good we're gonna go back to that um, plank we're doing it straight arms you know I think it's um, rewarding I'm sure doing nursing with a company that really is trying to do preventative health yes it sure is and we're holding this for about another 15 seconds. You guys are doing awesome out there. I'm shaking, which is a good sign. <laughs> 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax. Okay. That kettlebell again, or the weight. I'm going to use this one this time. All right. Same thing. Back and forth. Um, because I know like somebody from my uh, team is under Royal and they said that they really value helping people work out and going to the races because it helps yeah. their bottom line with insurance, right? Yes. Five more. Good job, everybody. Two more. Last one. Okay, 
set it down and a little water break. That, those kettlebells get your heart rate up. How are we doing on, guy, on time, guys? I've got three in the house. Chris and two students from Pellissippi. We've got about 10 minutes, so not a lot of time, but we're gonna grab weights again. And I'm gonna show you, um, let's grab one weight. Okay. And let's see what weight you, I want you just to use that one just okay. to show it to you. Okay. Mine's just a teeny bit heavier. All right. Our lower body is gonna be like a plie. So it's gonna be like a, or a curtsy type of thing. Like we're putting the foot back here. So it's just ball your foot and back. Yeah, just kind of ball your foot. And you can kind of balance with this other arm. Now at the same time, a little bit of bend, a little bit of bend in that arm. I don't want it straight and lift it out. Yeah, you can bend it just a tad. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, kind of like it's this. Okay. Kind of like that, yeah. Good, about six more. Looking good out there. More like a curtsy and a fly on one side. Two more. Good job, let's put it down and stretch a little bit in between. What's some of the things that you find more, most rewarding about your job? Um, just the, the response of getting members what they need, mm -hmm. um, helping them to live healthier lives, making sure they have all their follow-up, right. all, you know, Visits th to that the type of thing. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's real important. Another stretch on this side. And we're going to switch around so we're equally balanced. So now I'm going to do that little curtsy on this side and swap the weight so it'll look like this. It's going to come out. You're stepping behind and a little bit of a bend in that elbow. And I'm not going any higher than my shoulder. Good. I'm kind of throwing some new things at you, aren't I? <laughs> About five more, looking good. Three more. Two. Last one. Okay, in between, I want you to just hold that weight and do some shoulder shrugs. We'll try to leave some time for stretching. Don't you find that's the hardest thing to do? After yes. Our, we get all excited getting that run or walk in and then talk. Yep. yep. And then just stretch. Range of motion. All right, I'm going to show you guys how to do like some reverse lunges and we're going to work on the triceps. So I'm going to show you guys first. I'm going to be up on my step. You don't have to have a step. And basically, I'm just tapping back, ball of my foot, back and forth. At the same time, when you feel comfortable, we're going to go like this. I'm going to take this weight up high over my head. And then I'm letting it go behind my head and then back up. Behind my head. Back up. Good job. Working those triceps. Good. Good job. Well, I know some of... Um, my team members, I know with Kelsey, my daughter, going to these health fairs saying, Mom, it's so neat to see people that might have been on a lot of diabetes medicine. They start cutting out some sugars and walking, and they're paying a lot less money for medication. Yes, and they feel so much better. Three more. Two. Last one. Okay, a little drink of water, and then we'll do all those one more time. The Flies. You guys can find me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Missy Fit and Fun. Okay. All right. First thing we did on this little two two exercise routine is we did the the curt the curtsies with a little bit of a fly. So it's going to be we're just going to do about six to this side now. Two, three, four. Five, six. Other side. Same thing. Really keep a little bit of bend in that arm, and we're just doing weight goes to the kind of back foot. Four more. Good. Three, two, one. All right. Now we're going to take that weight, get up on our step if you have one, and we're going to work on. The tricep, so that's the muscle back in here. So you can do this like this, back and then up. 
is just going right behind, like towards the top of your spine, and then back up. You know, I think as adults, we've got to do more strength work because it really can help even with our metabolism, can yes. it? Yes. And it's such a good preventative thing for osteoporosis. Exactly, yes. And preventing falls. Yep. But people with more muscle on their body burn more calories even in their sleep. Yes. Two more. Last one. Good job. A little water break. So even though we're just doing weights, I'm out of breath. Yeah. Because we're kind of moving around with it. The step with it. Okay, we'll probably cool down. We've got 10 more minutes. Okay, all right, so we're gonna, t um, I have times for some more. Oh, I, this is one of my favorites. Get your two silver. Okay. This is a good combination. It's kind of like clean and jerk if you had a big old bar, but we're not using a big old bar. So now we're gonna start like this, chin up, rear end out behind us. And then we're gonna act like we're racking that long bar to here, to our shoulders. Take it up shoulders and back down good job so it's shoulders up here and if it's too heavy for you press over your head you could just do a mini push up or just none at all good job my toes are out a little bit kind of flared out a little bit from correct form with my knees keep it going now how did you get into running kind of with family my husband was running and so right. I was doing other types of fitness and said oh I'll try a 5k and there's a lot of trail running too yeah, you got to yeah. be careful like slowing down over those roots but I think trail running is becoming really popular it might is. be fun for kids you know yeah about four more of these good job two more last one Okay, set these down. We're gonna do a little bit for tummy. And I'll show. Well, I'm gonna sit down on my little step and I'll show you, you can follow along with me. I'm gonna sit a little bit of angle just to show them out there what to do. And if you have a low back issue, sometimes you can even put your hands right here. And we're gonna do old fashioned bicycle. Keep breathing and exaggerate. And feel that you're really working that core. Good job. Because the more core you have in your belly, the better your back's going to be, and better your posture's going to be. About six more. Five. Four. Three. I can feel it. Two. Last one. Okay, let's leave the right leg out, and I'm going to have this knee bent, and just lean over a little bit and stretch towards the shin good job and other leg out and again just stretching out before you feel it in the back of your hamstring and try to you know they say the most important time to stretch is after you're really warmed up so you don't pull anything all right back so you're going to do these two exercises we're going to do um our one we just did work kind of like clean and press so we get two okay. weights again and we're gonna do it's like start at the squat position right here and shoulders up shoulders and down let that derriere kind of go out behind you heels um, weight through your heels you know a lot of um, people don't realize that when I was coaching at UT the lady of all team um, even my distance runners we did weights at least two mm -hmm. or three times a week for power for running form and like you said for especially for ladies older like me oste I have osteopenia so they said keep getting the um, calcium right yes and get some weight bearing three more two more Last one. And set them down. All right, we're gonna work on that tummy again. I'm gonna sit down here. 
Okay, this one's gonna be a little bit different. What I'm gonna do, I'm never gonna extend my legs all the way. I'm gonna hold on to this. You can even kind of do it sideways like this. So I'm gonna extend my legs and then bring it up to a bend and then back and forth. And you can tap your feet at the bottom if you need to. I'll just do that too. It's a good balance exercise. Six more. I'm kind of putting some weight on my hands back in here that helps your low back. Four more. Three. Two. And last one. Now this stretch, I like this one, it's kind of pretzel stretch. So I'm gonna cross one leg like this, nice and tall. Now, since I got my right knee up, I'm gonna take my opposite arm, kind of makes it look like we're doing a pretzel and kind of push that knee. You should feel it right in here. Mm -hmm. So that hip, yep. A lot of runners have tightness in there. And you can look back over your shoulder. Hold it a few more seconds. And switch a roo. Other knee cross. And push back against it and look back over that left shoulder. Some of you guys are training for something or with your friends. If you'll just sit out, you know, if you're at a park, just do a few. Even five minutes can really help stretch things out. Looking good. Okay, we're going to get up and get one last drink of water and kind of cool it down. Okay. Now we did those lunges, and so we're gonna do a few lunges more. But on these, I want you to take a lunge, and then I want you to twist and hold it for just a few seconds. That's still good for our quad, but also low back. Good job. All right, switch a route, other side. Pick it up. And yeah, switch it around. I can feel that my low back. And switch a route, either side. And we're gonna feel this in our glutes tomorrow, <laughs> in our fannies with these lunges. And also get that good stretch, kind of open up your arm in the back. All right, last one on this side. Front leg up, a little bit of a twist. Yeah, that's it, good. Good. And yeah, these are all good for balance, aren't they? Yeah. They're hard. Yeah. yeah. I just did a yoga show, so I got a little bit of pre-warm-up with yoga. We're going to do a little bit of a hamstring stretch. They say 75% of people will have some type of back pain in their life, mm -hmm. and a lot of it is Legit. due to tight, tight hamstrings. Hip. So we're kind of leaning forward at the waist here. Good hamstring stretch. You want to feel a little tug, but nothing painful, just where you can feel it nice and stretch and other side good job and sometimes what I do uh, I do back and forth with my toe back and forth kind of work that shin area yeah. you know a lot of times we get shin splints or yeah. problems that's a good one to do two more of these okay one more on this side and again, try to get that lower foot involved, your ankle. Another good one to do with hikers is um, do your ABCs with your foot, you know, okay. to get the, get the ankle strong. Good job, everybody. Okay, now a couple of big arm circles. Let's make it feel good, exaggerate it. And remember, if you would like, I've got some training guides. If you want to, you can find me on Facebook and I can send you a training guide. Also some tips from dietitians about eating smaller portions, drinking more water, moving more every day, right? Yep. And fruits and vegetables. That's one. I need you to come do a, a special talk to my 16-year-old. Uh, <laughs> they say, you know, a lot of nurses will tell you, get have a plate that's got a lot of colors on it. Yes. And, and not M&M's. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I would probably say that. 
Okay, last one I like to do. It's really good for your low back. It's kind of like a, a yoga move. But it's like you're letting your hands kind of flop at the end of each one, back and forth. Just make it feel good. Good job. Okay, you guys, remember, life is more fun when you're fit. Keep working out and get a little stretching in there, a little strength, too. Janelle, thanks for being on the show. You did great. Thank you. It was fun. See you next time on Fit and Fun on East Tennessee PBS and WCTE. Bye, guys. Okay, big circles again. Kind of exaggerate them. <laughs> <laughs>